Hey guys! What's up? What's going on today? We're finishing a roux. Roux, take two. Well, we might be finishing her. I don't know if I'm going to finish her. We'll have to see how I get on. Of course she wants to say hi. Ooh. I know. Yet yeah, another dog that's not you. What's going on? What's going on? Hmm? <laughs> so you get it out of your system make sure you don't walk over this because I'll, I'll get rid of you I'll get a goldfish instead why are you so curious today you're never normally this curious come on Also, I'm very aware there's a massive cable down here that you are definitely going to knock yourself on at some point. Right, let's go. I have an array of beverages today. I have a glass of water, a glass of wine, and a cup of tea. So I'm spoilt for choice. I'm going to move my glass of water away from my paint set because I will no doubt go to dip it in my drinking water.
eat my washi tape. Oh, you can't see her, can you? Yeah. What are you doing? Got an eye bogey. Okay. <laughs> Don't eat that. I feel like that's my phrase at the moment. Don't eat that. Also, it doesn't look like there's a dog here, but I assure you there is. She's right here. She's very clingy lately. Thank you. doing oh don't lick my socks <sighs> I promise there's not anything interesting on them What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm hiding my foot. Oh, good grief. Well, Poppy is on my lap right now. She's just licking my socks. Which is disgusting.
10,000 poppy points. Oh, MG. <laughs> oh, I never put the gambling thing on. So I'm going over, I'm going over to OBS rather than Streamlabs and they've got like a load of games and stuff. Yeah, so I'll add them in. hanging out with me for too long. I always find doing these bits of fur a lot harder when they've got colour in them. I find it harder to get the depth in them. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Two sets. <laughs> so I unplugged my camera earlier. Oh, you got it in there. should be okay now <laughs> I ran out of USB slots earlier I needed to charge my phone I completely forgot to plug my camera back in Derp. thankfully my glamorous assistant brought it to my attention because it probably would have sat like that for about 10 minutes before I did even noticed. I just say that it sounds like this guy singing is going Anna. and of course the music changes so now you think I'm just a massive freak
my hands. Clean hands, very important. Hey Jen, how are you? Oh, it's nice to speak to someone. It's been so quiet. It's been so quiet. Thanks. What have you been up to today? Wait, is it morning where you are? Just got home from speech. Ah, oh, nice. Three p.m. Cool. Ah, uh, five hours. Nice. So you east coast. Or like, you know, the right hand side. <laughs> it is crazy, isn't it? Cool. Like it's really, really is global. All those pictures look amazing, by the way. Yeah, the um, is it Celeste. If I just made that up completely, Celeste. Celeste looks very similar. Oh my god, you sent me a load more. <sighs> I might struggle with that photo. So usually what the 
as long as you get the eyes right and the eyes need to be yeah if you've got any more but certainly i could do that would be really cool to do oh pretty much the same uh same kind of pose that this, this guy's doing <laughs> yeah your um your cat celeste looks really similar to one i've already done like they've got very similar colorings i really like doing those kinds of colors especially like these colors it's kind of like black burnt umber and then like a really dark really dark red i really like those colors I always really like the idea of having a puppy at the same time as having a kitten. I'm kind of happy I didn't do that now. I think puppy would have been very hard work if we'd have got a kitten at the same time. Old, and she thinks Lucy's up been... She tries to run out the door when they. Oh! She thinks she's a dog! So cute. Oh my god. I'm a sucker for those kinds of videos like my Facebook is just I, I basically I follow food channels and animal channels that's it and I always get the videos of like oh the giraffe and the goat that are best friends like you know ridiculous animal videos I'm a sucker for those Yeah, because um, when I zoom in on it, I don't, I haven't got, I think if they're all like that, if they're all that kind of quality, the more I can get, the better. Um, because I can do her in that pose that's absolutely fine it's just if there are any better ones like any close-ups of her head so that I can get any like details in her eyes because it's the eyes really that are the important thing as long as you get the eye right then you can kind of do all sorts around the eyes like um, you can kind of get away with a lot <laughs> the eyes hide a lot of sins um, so if you've got any that show her eyes or any distinctive colors on her 
um yeah the more the better basically but i can definitely if she loves that photo then we can do it in that in that posture that's fine no probs If it's not doing annoying, I'll send you those and see if I can get her to take a page of her eyes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. So obviously the more detail we can get, the more it's going to look like her. He, her. Ooh. Oh my god. That is a happy looking dog. That is a happy looking dog. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, so cute. Love dogs. My fave. They're my fave. Just don't let Poppy ease. hear me say that. I'll deny it. I'll deny it. You tell her I like more dogs. I kind of feel like how most women get over babies and they're like, oh, look at that baby. That's how I get over dogs. It's kind of the only thing I can relate to. Oh my god, so cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> My mum says that about Poppy. 
Like, mum, your jumper's wriggling really weirdly. <laughs> yeah, do you say jumper in the States? Or is it, uh, sweater? be a pretty big jumper. Um, I'm just going to do that. Yeah, our jumper. Although we do say we say we have she we have sweatshirt, but that's a specific kind of jumper. Also technical. But a jacket's a, a jacket. You guys. we've um some people say hoodie if it's a hooded sweatshirt oh yeah we have hoodie so um my boyfriend's got a five-year-old daughter and she like every single five-year-old and every child on the planet is obsessed with youtube and um all youtube videos that she watches are all american pretty much all of them so she says things that are the american version yeah, so we we went on a dog walk just before this stream and she said, um, just talking about like one of her teachers at school and she went, yeah, my teacher's going to go on a vacation. I went, you know, you're English. <laughs> she went, yeah, but no, I'm American. No, your mum and your dad, they're both English and you were born in England. So you're English, I'm afraid. And she went, mm, no, I think I'm American. And she says candy, trash. What else does she say? Oh, I can't even remember. But yeah, she'll, she'll say loads of stuff that's American, like the Americanism or whatever. Nail polish. Because we don't really call it nail, but it's nail varnish for us. I think it's nail polish is a bit American, I think. What do you candy sweets? Yeah. She watches uh, Bin always makes me smile for trash. <laughs> oh, and apparently one that you guys find funny is when we say a trolley, like a shopping trolley, whereas you say a shopping cart. When I went on my one of my holidays, I was like, oh, should I grab a trolley? And she was like, what? Oh, and Lou as well for toilet. Lou. Just pop to Lou. Yeah. Makes you wonder why they're different. Like trash. Oh, and garbage. She says garbage as well. Oh my, she was eating her tea and she was watching um, watching one of her YouTube videos and um, it was a snail, it's called, I can't remember what it's called, just this woman who's got a snail and she's doing a thing about snails, a kid's thing, 
um, and she's called the snail Gary. And I went, oh, Gary, that's so funny. And she goes, uh, no, Hannah, it's Gary. That's the same word. It's the same. I said Gary, because I'm English. And she was like, Gary. Oh, is that like tomato and tomato? Yeah. I've never met anyone who says tomato, ever. I think I'll laugh at them if they say tomato. Is that how you say it? Please tell me that's how you say it. Tomato. No one here says... Tomar. Tomato. Tomato. Like mayonnaise. You say to you wait, you say tomato. Or you don't say tomato. Oh my god, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm typing weird. So there's tomato. In England it's tomato. We say Oh, you say mato! <gasps> I love it. <laughs> but then it's kind of weird when you think about it because I say potato. Obviously. Because it's a potato. And yet I don't say... And then I say tomato, but I don't say potato. Flat <laughs> potato. Love it. Oh, and she also says cookies. She doesn't say biscuits. Same word. Yay. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of funny though, because I was think when I was talking to her earlier, I was thinking, I wonder if this is gonna be a generation thing. So like when I'm an old grandma rocking in my rocking chair. Are there going to be kids that are walking past that say all those words and then when they hear me say I'm going to have some sweets, they'll be like, what? <laughs> I wonder if they're going to adopt the Americanisms for words. And I'll be like super old. Like when we hear the Queen, like, it's called the Queen's English, I don't know if you know, but like if, if it's the Queen's English, if it's super posh, because the Queen talks totally posh, totally. We don't talk like that. <laughs> so I wonder if that's, if when they hear me talk, when I'm an old grandma, they'll be like, ooh. That's a good point. It might do. For the most part, I think whenever I've met people that are um, so for all of if they're all foreign and they've got um, the different languages and they try and speak English, they always say American words because I think they have an option. They can either choose to do the American English or English English. And I guess it must be easier because obviously all of the majority of the TV programmes that they must watch that are in English are probably the American ones. You guys, you're taking over the world. 
with your vacations and your tomatoes. We don't lose different accents here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 100%. I think the programmes that I watch on TV are probably all American, pretty much. We usually have the TV on to fall asleep to, and we always have on the American office. Because <laughs> obviously it started in Britain. But it's not as many as um, the US one. British actors in the Marvel movies. The ones also in Sherlock. I don't think they sound British at all. Who are the Amer Who are the British actors? Is it Benedict Cumberbatch? Is he one of them? I don't really watch the Marvel movies. I don't know who they are. and Martin Freeman. Oh, it was, oh, Martin Freeman, funnily enough, was in the British office. Um, Martin Freeman, um, he's like London English, I think, Martin Freeman. He's not that posh. He's quite, yeah, he's, he's not that British, I don't think. That's a weird thing to say. Like, he's not got, like, a posh accent. And he's been in a lot of films where he's been American, like he's put on an American accent, I think. Tom Holland. Oh, that guy, yeah. Although I can't think what he sounds like. Maybe we are all merging. No, this is George Clooney. Wait, have I just made that up completely? It's not, no, it's not George Clooney. Oh my God, who is it? Oh. 
not George Clooney. Oh my god, I can't remember who it is. He was a really old actor. Um, he was in like all the classic films, really old films. Uh, not Clark Gable. Not James, James Stewart? No, not James Stewart. It's around that kind of um, era. But he was the guy I'm thinking of was Welsh. I just can't remember who he is. Oh my god, that's gonna annoy me. You know when you watch something on TV and then you see someone and you recognise them and you're just like You can't enjoy the programme until you work out who it is. Maybe that's just me. I will wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Send you a message. <laughs> You'll be like, Hannah, I really don't care. <laughs> Go back to bed, Hannah. you thought were American. Idris Elba. Ugh, no one cares about Idris Elba. Come on. Oh, I'm scrolling through, I'm scrolling through. Oh my God, Kim Cottrell was born in Liverpool. Oh, he's not on that list. Oh, please take him. He annoys me. What? Why? Don't get it. Oh, oh, it's really, really going to annoy me. I'm going to go and walk off my rage and just change my water. <laughs>
he's just a bit. He's done a um. I don't know if I'm allowed to say any of this. <laughs> I'm probably not allowed. So he's he's done this. He's got like his own brand, his own like DJing brand. I just think is a bit naff. <laughs> And of yeah <laughs> and then I think because he kind of um yeah he's got his own DJing thing and I just think he's only done it because he's fame I don't know I actually really don't know why I find him so annoying <laughs> I think he just kind of like he popped up out of absolutely nowhere i don't like him in that program luther although i think that's big in the states i just find him irritating maybe it's his accent i don't know Yeah, I'm not a massive fan. I have seen it, but... I just think he's he's vastly overrated. <laughs> kind of like Johnny Depp. Ooh, controversial Hannah. My uh, viewership just went down by one. <laughs> Someone did not like me not liking Johnny Depp. I just don't think he's. I don't really get it. Why is he. Why does everyone love him so much? I don't understand. Like, he was at one point, like, the most. most. He's, he was voted the most overpaid actor in whatever year it was. I just don't, yeah, I just don't really see what the big deal is with them, um, Johnny Depp. I like some of his younger film when he was um, he was a bit younger, like Edward Scissorhands. Obviously, it's a classic, but I don't know. Like, the, and then the whole could be even more controversial now, Jen. Like the whole Tim Burton thing, which Michael hates me for saying as well. I really don't like Tim Burton films. I just, I just don't. I don't get them. I don't understand why everyone loves them. I don't get it at all. I don't understand how they are as popular as they are. I just don't see it. And Harry Potter. I can't stand Harry Potter. which people usually like take a step back from me I have messed this up he's start she's starting to look a little bit like a badger I don't quite
again I can see that actor in my head now in in my mind's eye You look like a badger does she look like a badger maybe i'll carry on and then see how it Nice. Gonna make some tomatoes. unsee badger guys I it's her nose I mean to be fair her nose is not finished so Never really done this bit either. So maybe when it's all together, she might look less badgerish. Needs the nose. Thank you. 
The camera is a bit wobbly, isn't it? I've got a new arm for my camera. 
they did have like a a homemade frame out of a shower curtain and then I switched because I got some new lights that clamp onto my desk so I didn't really need I couldn't I don't know I just couldn't justify the whole thing so I took it down and used this arm but actually I might put it back up Yeah, I think so. He's um, she rather. Um, I'm not. I haven't done that bit yet. I haven't put the highlights in. I'm not nuts about. I don't know. Something. Something's still not right. So it just means I've still got. I just need to keep going. <laughs> usually just means I've got to keep um uh did they know you're painting them um he no he didn't know when I started and then after I the last on after the stream on Tuesday I sent him a message saying hey guess what uh guess what I'm painting and he replied and he was like oh cute dog it's like it's your dog <laughs> He was like, oh, I thought it was. But I didn't want to say. <laughs> yeah, I hope they like it. He's um he was a really good friend. I worked with him for ages. Well, I say ages, only a few a good couple of years. But um it was a really good boss. He was a good friend as well, so 
Um, and he's just been let go, which is really sad. Um, just because of redundancies and stuff. And so I wanted to um, just make him something, just to say thanks for being a, you know, good mate, good boss. Hey, Joe! How's it going? Uh, I did digital pet portraits for Christmas gift last. Nice! Oh, thanks. Oh, I tried using, um, I had a Wacom tablet today for work. Um, I was doing some illustrations, just some simple line drawings. And, um, I quite liked it. So, I'm um, on the next payday, I think I'm going to get a Apple Pencil. And have a go with them. Um, procreate. That's a weird noise. I am a designer. No, uh, Clark Shoes. I'm a graphic designer at Clark Shoes. So I don't design the shoes. I'm in the marketing department. And it's literally just down the road. In um, I live in Glastonbury. In um, England. And the... I'm like not near London or anything, but this global company's head office is just literally right down the road, which is pretty cool. It's great. It's good. Um, good opportunity. been out. She probably will need to. Thanks. when I'm doing things and I've got free time drawing cartoons on tablets that my creativity nice yeah I'm excited um because I did a quite a um well I did I'll show you actually I've got it on here oh and Joe yeah what Uh, where is it? 
Oh, I know where it is. Ah, right in there. Who did I send it to? Oh, there we go. So I did this today. Um, you can't really see it that well, but it was just a simple line drawing. I had fun doing it. <laughs> oh, and Hannah, have you watched Green Lantern? No! Uh, I haven't! No! Uh. <laughs> When I do, Joe, I'll message you. I shall whisper. I shall whisper on Twitch. It keeps being advertised, and every time it comes up on the TV, I think of you. Hello, puppy dog. She's been outside. No, I haven't. Wait, are you being sarcastic? So I was super loud. I'm getting your humour now. And play fort today. Oh. Well.
Oh, your internet. Good old internet providers, eh? Right, I move on to be tea now. Oh.
On the tea now, Jen.
Oh, she's there. <laughs> he's going to swallow the dog that's around me just then. That's weird. Now comes with the 10 minute stare off of the painting. If anything annoys me, I change it.
Thanks. I'm doing my standard stare at the painting and change things that annoy me phase.
I think Rue's done. She's got no whiskers, really. No eyelashes, it's all burr. I don't think she needs any extra. So I've, all I've done is just added in some little, little details around the edge, like little scruff details. Not very many, just a, just a couple. So there we go, that is Rooster the Dog finished. I say that, I might come back tomorrow and just have a look because there is something about this that I'm not that happy about. <laughs> so I might come back and do a little, I'm doing it now.
you just kind of lost a bit of depth. Like her nose just looked like it went and it looked a bit weird. So there was something in the shadows that I hadn't quite done properly. And it looked like all the hair was going in one direction when it's actually not. Makes me happier. <laughs> yes, that makes me a lot happier. That bit does. Okay, so that is Rooster Part 2. We managed to finish her in two sessions, which is great. So hopefully my friend will like this. It'll be a nice little present for them. Um, so thank you very much for joining. Um, next week I'll be back on Tuesday, so Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I will probably be painting one of Jen's pets. Perhaps I'll do a cat next week since I've done... Yeah, I've done two dogs in a row, so I'll do a cat next week. So I'll probably do your Celeste. I don't know if you're still there, Jen, but I'll probably possibly do Celeste the cat. Where is she? There we go. Celeste the cat. We shall do. Whoop. cute cool well thank you so much for joining guys and i'll uh catch you on tuesday next week bye bye